Hey, welcome back to the channel. So one of the most common questions I get asked is, if you were to start from scratch all over again, where your business, your experience, your network, your connections, your money were all wiped out, how would you start your online business again from scratch? So in this video, I'm gonna answer exactly that question. I wanna answer what I'd do if everything were wiped out and I had to start from scratch all over again, no money, no expertise, no network, nothing. If I were starting from scratch again, how would I go about doing it? Now I'm gonna walk through this step by step, so if you wanna follow what I'd do if I were starting from scratch, and maybe you're starting from the beginning as well, you can follow these steps. I wanna make it as easy as possible or as simple as possible to understand. Now, before we begin, make sure you subscribe if you're not already and hit the bell icon. You're gonna get updates for all of my future videos. And I've also heard that it helps the algorithm. So it shows my videos to other people who can learn and get value out of this as well. So make sure you subscribe if you're not already, hit the bell icon so you get my future updates. So with that said, Let's dive into these steps right now. Now, step one is I would pick a money-making skill to learn. A money-making skill is exactly what it sounds like. It's a skill that makes money either for yourself or for other businesses. Now, there are three examples of money-making skills that I would choose from. The first is sales or closing, and that could be through live chat or direct messaging or phone sales. If you learn this skill, it's great because you can go out and instantly start getting paid by other businesses who need salespeople, or you can start closing your own offers and your own products and services. The second money-making skill that I might focus on is media buying. And media buying is just buying ads on platforms like Google or YouTube or Facebook or TikTok or Snapchat, learning how to buy media and buy ads so that you can drive traffic, leads, and customers, either, again, for yourself or for other businesses. And the third money-making skill is copywriting, right? Writing words that sell products or services. And the great thing about copywriting is you can apply it to multiple different mediums. You can do email copywriting. You can do video sales letter copywriting. You can do sales page copywriting or ad copywriting. So copywriting is a skill that can be applied to multiple different mediums. And it's probably the skill that I would pick is copywriting and specifically email copywriting. Now you might be wondering why I recommend starting with and learning a money-making skill. And the reason is simple. If you learn a money-making skill, it's very easy to go out to a business and because you can make them more money, they're happy to pay you money. So if you know a money-making skill, you can go to businesses and say, hey, I can help you make more money. I don't have a business of my own yet, but I'd like to help you grow yours. How about I help you with copywriting or closing deals on the phone? or buying traffic to generate you more leads and customers. You can get paid more and charge more because you have a skill that directly impacts the bottom line and directly makes yourself or businesses more money. So that's why I recommend picking and learning a money-making skill. And for me personally, again, I would start with email copywriting just because it's focused and it's probably the simplest thing to learn that has the highest impact and the highest upside. The second step or the second thing I'd do is I'd spend three to four hours every day practicing and continuing to learn about this skill. So let's use the example of email copywriting. What would I do here? Well, I would spend time going through courses or books or videos to learn more about email copywriting every day. So I might spend an hour or so learning about email copywriting, learning about the formula and structure, maybe getting on people's lists and seeing how they send out and write their emails. And I'd spend the other two to three hours practicing the skill. So I'd be hand copying emails, I would be trying to write my own original emails. I would be picking companies that I wanna work for and pretending like I'm already selling their products and writing emails to sell their products. And if I were to do this every day for 30 to 60 days, I'd become a lot better at this skill enough where I can go out to a business and start charging for it. So where a lot of people go wrong here is they spend all their time just learning, right? They'd sit down for four hours, they go through courses, they just fill their brain with more information, they're watching videos, but they never put it into practice. So my rule is no consumption without creation. So if, I am, if I'm consuming something, if I'm watching a video, I'm listening to a podcast, and I'm learning something, I'm gonna spend the other half of the time or more putting it into practice and immediately applying it. So if I spend two hours learning, I'm gonna spend two hours trying it out and practicing it because that is how you are gonna actually learn and get better is by putting what you learn into practice. So that's the second step. I'd spend three to four hours every day continuing to learn and practicing this money-making skill that I picked. In this case, it'd be email copywriting. The third step is I would pick a niche that I wanna work with that could use my money-making skill. And I would start to reach out to businesses in that niche that need my help and start to work as a freelancer. So once I've gone through step two, where I've practiced and I've learned over 30 to 60 days every single day for three to four hours a day, I'd have a lot more confidence and I'd start to reach out to businesses who need my help 
where I could go out, apply my money-making skill to their business and get paid for it. Now, where would I look? I'd probably first start on Upwork because there's already businesses posting jobs on there. They're looking for email copywriters or they're looking for media buyers or they're looking for salespeople. So I'd start with a job platform. Upwork is a very common one where you can find people who are already posting jobs for a skill that you might have. So I'd use Upwork to get my first few gigs and get my first few dollars coming in online maybe my first few thousand dollars coming in. And once I've had my first few gigs, I'd feel more confident going out to the market and maybe using something like cold email to get more clients. So to break it down, I would start off on some kind of freelancing or job platform like Upwork, where people are already posting jobs saying, I wanna pay somebody to do this for me. And I'd look for people who are hiring for my skills. Once I got three or four gigs on Upwork, I would start to do cold email outreach to find more clients using the experience and the case studies and reviews that I got from the clients I got on Upwork. Now, I'd probably do this for about one to two years so I can continue to get clients. I can build up my bank account, build up my expertise and my case studies and results and use that for the next step in the process. Which brings me to step number four, which is I would start to work with higher paying clients. So once I'm confident in my skills, I've got the case studies and the results to back it up and I've worked with a fair amount of clients, I would start to structure offers and deals that got me paid more per client. So maybe that's moving from one-time gigs to monthly recurring deals, monthly recurring packages. Or maybe that's going from retainer, monthly retainer deals to revenue sharing packages, which is what I do now, where I get a percentage of all the sales that I bring in on an ongoing basis. Either way, I'm just looking to get more out of every client instead of just getting more and more clients. So there's a lot of people out there who, who love building agencies and they wanna have 200, 300 clients in their agency. So I'm not the same way. I'd rather work with fewer clients and have a leaner team, but have those clients paying a lot more money, paying a premium price tag. So that's what I would do. I would try to structure deals and offers where I'm getting more out of every client, a lot more than someone who runs an agency getting $1,500 to $2,000 a month might get. So nowadays, the way that I have my deals structured and my offers structured, I can make multiple six figures a year from just one client and I like it that way. So if I have just three to four clients and I'm making high, high six figures a year, I'm totally fine with that. So that's what I would do is find more ways to get more out of every client rather than just getting more and more clients. Step five is I would start to productize my expertise. So what I'm doing here, what does productize mean? Well, I'm taking my expertise and my knowledge and I'm creating digital products around it that can be sold while I'm sleeping. So this could be a template pack of some of my best emails for a specific niche, or it could be a course around a specific campaign that's really working well that can help people get sales really quickly, or it could be some kind of internal process that I have in my business or for onboarding people or for writing emails that I can turn into some kind of digital product. Either way, I'm productizing my expertise and I'm creating some kind of information or digital product that can be sold and delivered while I'm sleeping without any of my involvement. Now, this is gonna help me scale because once I actually create the product, there isn't much work for me to do after that. So there's not much work for me to sell and deliver it. It can be done all on autopilot without my involvement. So that's step five is I'm gonna productize my expertise and turn what I know into digital products. Now step six and the final step is I'd start to share my learnings through content and start building an audience. So I would probably build a community on Facebook through a Facebook group and then also an email list where I'm sending out a daily email or an email every weekday to my list. And I might also share content on YouTube or Twitter and I'd be sharing everything that I learned up until this point as learning a money-making skill and a freelancer and working with higher paying clients and creating and selling digital products. I'd be sharing everything I learned about the journey there on these platforms like YouTube, Twitter, Facebook group, email list. Now the secret here, instead of focusing on creating amazing content, I would be focused on sharing what I learned, right? More like a student who's sharing his notes and sharing his learnings. I'd be documenting and sharing what has worked for me and what hasn't worked for me and just giving tips and advice about what I've seen through my own experience. Now, by doing it this way, I'm positioning myself more as a trusted friend and advisor rather than like a teacher or an expert or someone who's talking down to other people. And documenting and sharing this content will help me to build an audience and will also help me to grow my audience and continue getting more and more people to buy my products and to sign up for my services and to wanna to learn more about how to do exactly what I'm doing. And of course, that leads to more money, right? The more people that you're helping and impacting with your, with your business, the more money that you're gonna make. So that is the sixth and final step is I would start to share all of my learnings through content and start building my audience that way. So 
Those were the exact steps that I would take if my business were wiped out and I had no connections, no expertise, no money, no friends or anything. That is exactly what I do. Step one, again, is to, I would pick a money-making skill to learn. Step two is I would spend three to four hours every day learning and practicing that money-making skill. Step three is after I'm confident, after 30 to 60 days or so, I'd pick a niche and start reaching out to businesses in that niche to work for them as a freelancer. Step four is I'd work with higher paying and premium clients by structuring better deals and better offers. Step five is I would productize my expertise so I'd take all the knowledge and expertise that I learned and turn it into digital products that can be sold and delivered without my involvement. And step six is I'd start to share my learnings and document my journey through content so I can build my audience and get more sales of my products and my services. Now, if you're thinking this looks and sounds familiar or looks and sounds familiar to what I have going on now, it's because it is. This is exactly what I did to build and grow my businesses. And it's exactly what I do again. If everything were wiped out, these are the steps that I would take. So if you're in a similar position where you're starting from scratch or you wanna build a business that's similar to mine and similar to the way that I have it structured, this is what I would do. And these are the steps that I'd recommend you take. So go ahead and watch this video again if you need to, but this is exactly what I would do to build my online business again from scratch if everything were wiped out. Now, if you enjoyed this, make sure you hit the like button. And if you wanna learn more about how to execute on each of these steps, Go to emailrainmaker.com. That's gonna take you to my free Facebook group. And I talk a lot about how to actually implement the steps that I talked about in this video. So that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.